Well, it's uh, it started raining, but the the guy from the delivery company just delivered. What do you get? What do you think it is, guys? It's a brand new car. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got a brand new kayak, guys. So uh, let's let's cut this bad boy open, and let's see what I got. I'm trying to think of how I want to. Just rip it open. <clears throat> Perfect day for a kayak delivery, if I must say so myself. I've been waiting on this for quite some time, guys, and oh, the excitement, pure excitement. That's a big boat, ain't it? <laughs> Bella says that's a big boat. Alright. Daddy has a big boat, huh? Yeah. I already had thoughts. Like, I was kind of planning this video out how I wanted to make it. And one thing here in Florida you just can never ever count on is this the rain. So a good thing it's a kite. I guess kayaks are meant to get wet, right? Two hours later. All right, come over. Actually, no, you don't have to come over here because it's raining. We don't want to get the camera wet. Okay, we got some storage with a quick lock on it. We got the, yeah, this is what, I assume. Yeah, this is what you should do. Right. Yo, check this. This is like a lawn chair. Look how much space I have. Okay, so that's in there, so it won't. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the. This is the. Um, okay, guys. So this board is here, drilled not into the kite, but into these little divots right here. Uh, I need to take this board off because it's holding down what this actually is, guys. So this is actually a pedal drive right here, guys. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and take this piece of wood off. Uh, this is an Old Town Topwater 120 PDL. So now, thankfully, I have a pedal kayak uh, that I'll be able to take and, and, and literally do anything with. Um, one thing about here in Florida is, you know, I have that other kayak and, and uh, you put it in the, the salt water uh, and, and just fighting against the current, the in-going, outgoing tide, and then all the big boat wake, which that's really not an issue in, in these like really nice stable kayaks. Uh, but the current, I'm telling you guys what, it's near impossible to paddle those kayaks, uh, you know, especially on outgoing tide. But we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this situated, and then uh, then we'll come right back to you guys. So we'll see you guys here here shortly when it stops raining. This thing is short. Bella, is this your new kayak? Yeah. No, psych. Just kidding. Um, the Old Town Topwater 120 PDL, guys. Oh, mommy, daddy. The whole family can ride in it because it's so big, right? Yeah. The whole family. We gonna go out to the ocean in it? Yeah. All right. Well, if it stops raining. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's the rudder. That's the pedal drive mechanic itself. I gotta finish unwrapping that and inspecting it and make sure everything's okay. Uh, this is where you kind of like pull, push to uh, to steer the rudder. Basically, when you're pedaling, you can. Put your little right hand right there and, and, and uh, change directions of the kayak with the rudder. Uh, that's the seat Bella's sitting in with her. You got a really weird outfit on right now, and I like it. Yeah, my choo-choo. Yeah. All right, we've got some storage right here. Let's check this out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Got some storage in there. All right, we've got built-in, like, look at that. That's, oh, yeah. Got built-in handles. We've got another built-in handle right here. And um, I'm gonna, we got, we've actually got three rod holders. We got one, two, and then right there on the other side. Side carry accessibility, easy, easy install seat and, and slide like little mechanic right here. That, that was extremely easy. That took me like seven seconds to figure out. Maybe it should have took me five, but it took me seven. I don't know. So as of right now, uh, everything looks crispy. Everything looks clean. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish unwrapping it. Get all this paper thrown in the trash. Uh, unwrap the drive itself, the pedal drive itself, and make sure everything's the all the components. Boat ride, the boat ride, no rain. Go with the boat, go on a boat ride when it's not raining. Yeah. 
Are you excited to go ride in this? Yeah. Me too. All right, guys, so I will be back with you guys yeah, here. Okay, are you gonna sit in the back? Yeah. Okay, all right, that's cool. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish unwrapping everything, getting all this paper thrown in the garbage, uh, and then get this thing loaded in the uh, in the garage. So uh, I'll be back with you guys here in uh, probably about 30 minutes of my time, probably about uh, 1.7 seconds your time. What do you know, guys? It just stops raining and then another big storm comes through right here. So I was gonna put it on my truck, actually, on the back of my truck. I wanted to see like what it looked like sticking out of the truck because I don't have like a trailer or one of those trailer hitch like kayak extension things. I don't have that. All right guys, there we have it on the back of the truck and it looks good, it's gonna fit good, it's gonna tie down perfect. I actually am gonna use a ratchet strap as you can see right here and I've got two other little uh, straps that I'm gonna tie through this. One goes that way and then one goes this way. So uh, it looks good. I wanted to get it out on the water today but clearly with that storm coming, uh, that's not gonna happen today. So I literally like unbagged it and everything and then next thing you know, I'm like, all right, well, let me just load it up and see if I can go get it on the water really quick today because I was like super excited to get this kayak, right? And it starts pouring down rain again. So I've like got it kind of leaned down like this at first to kind of just let the water drip off of it, whatever. But I mean, it is what it is. I wanted to get it on the water today and I can't because clearly the storm, I'm not going to sit out there in a lightning storm in a kayak. Probably not the best idea, guys. What do you think? I'm about to go on the other side of the house real quick because they're leaf blowing right now and it's really loud. Okay, yep, definitely not as loud back here in the back of the house rather than in the front. It's they're leaf blowing and it's, wow, it looks really bad. Look at that. Like just, just look at that. That's, that's not good. It's not good. It's about to get really bad here in a second. But um, the things I'm looking forward to in the, like the most in this kayak is pedal the pedal drivability of this kayak. Like, I'm super, super excited to get out and and, and see what it's like. Uh, and stay tuned, guys, because I'm gonna put this thing to the test, all right? I'm not gonna say much more because there's, I'm gonna make another video like here in the next couple days, you'll see it on the channel, but I'm gonna put this thing through the test, all right? And I've already got in my mind what I wanna do. So uh, anyways, with that being said, guys, super thankful to get this kayak. Huge shout out to Old Town, thank you so much. Uh, it, it, it's awesome so far like I cannot cannot wait to get this thing on the water uh, But this is kind of more so just like an unboxing type video of, of a really awesome pedal drive kayak So uh, anyways guys stay tuned because the next video is gonna be dropping here in two or three days I'm gonna be taking that thing out Trying to beat these storms. We've got storms every afternoon coming through here in South Florida But I'm gonna try to beat these storms and uh, and get this thing out and put it through the test So in about two or three days you guys are gonna see the next video in this little like pedal drive series thing but uh anyways thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thanks for all the love and all the support I, I can't say that enough i can't stress that enough i appreciate every last one of you but anyways guys thanks again for watching and we'll catch y'all next time